In this lesson, we will go and see how we can create a simple query based report before we can proceed to our next lecture which will be our creating our output menu items. So in this lecture, we will go and see how we can create a report based on a query. So for that what we need to do first is we need to create a query before we can create a report. So I will create a new query over here and let's say I will take a new query and for that I need to give a name of my query and let's take a actual table for this one. Let me go to front end over here on the client side and if we go to sales and marketing and go to all sales order let's see we have a lot of order over here why not we use to pull some of the orders with our report so i'll go over here and i will say this query as a rd simple sales order report that will be good enough and i will say the same over here or else you can also use it uh, labels but I just give a simple name over here and case okay, so the report is over here and let me close all of this and I will just open this in a new window and for the data source we will be using a actual table that would be a sales table so I am just adding one table over here for now just to make it simple one so in the data source I will just add one simple table that is a sales table and that should be good enough and if you go to the field then what we will select is I will select no so let me just add only a few things that I want to add over here I don't want to add all so I will add Mm, it's quite a lot so let, let's just, just add all and let us remove it later if you don't need I'll just say yes and now we can see our list of the field has been pulled out so we have already pulled the data that's fine let's save all of this and let me save this one also so we have a data source and that's the simple one we are not adding any grouping or anything else sorting we are not adding anything then we have a query so for after this we need to go to our visual studio let us open our visual studio over here and maybe later just a blue one okay that should be good enough our visual studio is open already and let me go to file and there's a new one with a new project and we will select over here mm, let me go to Microsoft Dynamic X so before we can actually use this one Microsoft Dynamic X feature in our video studio we need to install a plugin that comes with our installation file so make sure you have a Visual Studio uh, has a Microsoft Dynamic X if you don't have this one you are, will be not able to create a any report so make sure you have this one Microsoft Dynamic X if you have if you are using a default virtual machine from Microsoft Microsoft then it by default that one is installed so we'll just click on it here and I will say say the report name as same as here so I will just say this one just copy this one and the same thing I will put over here and just click okay and let's wait for a few seconds okay so what we need to do now is we need to go over here and just right click and we need to add a new report so I will add a new report over here and so report is over here and let me change the report name and just say same as a rd sales order simple sales order report so we have a we added a report then the, we need to go to data set and just select add new data set and the data source is microsoft dynamic x and the data source type should be query and the name for data set let me 
let's give a name for our data set as a simple order data set that's okay and now just click on over here the button and we need to select our query so let's go and see what is our query name query name is same as rd simple sales order report so we need to select that one so just wait for a few seconds so it will load all of our queries the list of queries is already over here and what we need to do is rd so rd will be oh, there are a lot of rd so our query name should be rd simple sales order report so this is our one so just click on next and here we need to select the fields that we want to add to our report so the field that you want to add you you can always check all if you want to add all the field over here and we also have some of the method that you can also be used if you want to add all the method that you can just select all so but for now later on you can always come back and add a remove field as you need so for this i will just remove everything and i also don't want this one i'll just add some of the field that i need from here sales sales id that i need and sales name customer account and also the invoice and delivery date and purchase order form number so let us add some more field mm, let me add the document status currency code and okay let's add some other tax group we may also need tax group and let us see what we can add some more customer reference we may need delivery terms or a delivery mode we will need we may also need a purchase id if the order is created from our purchase order and let us see whatever we need anything other than the sales type let us take sales type and see let's go down and see some okay that's enough i think uh, for this one we'll add just only few of the field just a simple report not not any complex on it so all of the field that we selected is already over here just don't worry about anything now we are just creating a simple report actually we'll take a separate lesson on how to create a query based report this is just to show you a simple report that we can add to use with our menu items that would be our output menu items so we have added some of the uh, fields already over here and we need to what we need to do is now we need to go to design and just right click and add a design so you can also add auto design let me add a position design and let us say just say a name as a report just a simple report just now you can select edit okay and what we can do is we can just right click and just insert a table just insert a simple table over here and what we can do is you can always select the record so i will say sales id and i will say the invoice account and the delivery date and just right click and say right insert and right click and say insert column to the right so we let we'll add another one is delivery date and the delivery mode and let us add uh sales type no let us add document status i think that should be enough and let us add a simple text box over here and say let us say sales order just a report title and just make it a little bit bold 
so that's it our this one should be fine and let us what we need to do is we need to add this to the aot just right click over here what we can do is just right click over here and add to aot which will be when you click select that it will be saved to one on our aot let me show you where we can get if we can get on visual studio project and dynamic x model project let us refresh and let us see whether we can get over here so here you can see the report the project is saved over here so later you can always open this directly without going to the visual studio so that's it we have added our project to the application object tree or aot then what we need to do is let us deploy it so when deploying it will actually go and deploy our report to our ssr server so you can see it's getting let us track okay it's not able to drag okay, wait for some time let us first finish our deployment here you can see the deployment has been successful zero failed and zero skipped which means that our report is successfully deployed in our ssrs so let's go and see what we can do now and let us go over here and just see and preview let us see whether we can get some of the data over here or not so it's asking for some parameter but we don't have uh, we haven't set any parameter over here then just go to report over here and you can see the report is generated so we have all the invoice you can see all the sales order document status is invoice we can also add some parameter over here just to show our invoice report or just to show our open report so that's our simple report is already working and what we need to do now is already deployed and we can go back over here and what we need to do now is let us go to our project over here and add a new group and i will say as a and let us change the name to ssrs report and what we need to do now is we need to go to our ssrs report over here and we say reports and we say rd here this is our report that we just deployed just drag this one over here to our project over here to make it more okay so when you click on it and design you can see we have one report right so we have report over here already that's the same report it's coming from here the report design and report okay that's it and it's look fine and what we need to do now is we need to create a menu for our output menu so let's go and create a group and let us create a output menu sorry output so output and just copy and give the same one and i will create a new menu item over here it should be menu item and let us give a same name of the our reports which should be or let us give a same report as a query so let us copy this one over here and and place it over here in the name that should be good enough and we also need to provide a label so let us go to label and we need to add a one new label on it we place it down over here and let me just drag this one up and let me search search as add rdl and three i think three is never used so let us use this one simple cells order report so that should be good enough and let us add the same description over here and we'll just copy this one and use in our project so label and same over here that should be good enough and now what we need to do is just save all of this and for this one what you need to do is we need to call our 
report from here so object type we need to select a uh, report SSRS report and object and what is our object name is here this is our object name so rd simple report that should be go back over here and let us add an object and inside this we can select how many report we have if you have multiple report then it will show over here so we have only one report and the name is report design name is report so let us add a report over here and just save all of these so we have already added our report design over here and what we need can do is now we can just open this one and check whether it's opening the report or not so here you can select some of the parameter if you want to just you can select if you want to select some of the only show some of the sales order so if you select and go through and only select this one and okay this is our parameter just select okay and it's fetching the report the first time it may take a bit longer time so here you can see our report is successfully run through our menu item so if it, you can also change the parameter to just remove and so all of the report you can just remove this one and just select ok and it will pull out all of the report just click on run and it will fetch all the record so it's working our uh, output menu item is working what we need to do now is the last thing we have to do is in the pull it in our front end so in the front end where you want to show in the client uh, we need to show in the report so let us add in the report section over here so let's go and add that one okay let's go to aot we minimize and let us go to aot over here and inside aot what we need to do we need to go in the menus and here i need to open the sales and marketing so let me open in the new window and we need to place it in the report area because this is a report so we want to place it in a report so let us add in the transaction sales order let us drag this one and add over here so simple sales order report is over here right, so just save this one and let us open a new client we have our client and let us go to sales and marketing section over here in the sales and marketing we have placed in report transaction sales order and here you can see we have our report which is simple sales order report so you just select and you can see our report is running successfully so that's it how we can use our simple report with our output menu items so hope you guys had some basic basic understanding on how actually it works and if you didn't understand anything or if you are get confused with the report don't worry about it we will be taking a separate lesson on how to create a, a report so this is a simple report just to show you how we can use it with our output menu item so if you have any question do let me know and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day